Welcome to today's daily video devotional. My name is Brent and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Have you ever wondered where wise people get all their advice from? Okay, here's the secret, the well. Well, what do I mean by the well? Stay with me, I'm gonna tell you all about it because it's significant and it's a great day to be alive. Thanks so much for staying with me. So this well, what am I talking about? Well, we're gonna go to scripture right now and look at a passage that's gonna give us some more insight on this and then we're gonna expand even more on it. So let's go right now to Proverbs chapter 20, verse five in the New Living Translation. And here's what it says. Though good advice lies deep within the heart, a person with understanding will draw it out. Proverbs chapter 20, verse five in the Passion Translation says this. A man of deep understanding will give good advice drawing it out from the well within. Having lived in Northern Ontario for almost four years, I realized something. One, there's a lot less people living in such a huge space. The municipality I was in, Mark Stay Warren, shout out to everybody from there, is the same land mass as the GTA. It's massive, but there's only 2,900 people living in it. So guess what? Not everyone has municipal water because it'd be impossible to run it all out there and it would be so costly. But that doesn't mean they don't have water and it doesn't mean they have to go bathe in a creek. What it means though, is that they'll pay someone to come in and drill down deeper into the earth beneath their property until they hit water and then they create a well. And from that well, water gets pumped up into their house and they use it just like everyone else. You wouldn't even know it if you didn't know. So how does that apply to us? Well, here's the thing. In our lives, we're all drawing from something question is, what are you drawing from? Have you dove deep down? Have you drilled down to something greater than yourself? Where do really, truly wise, godly people get their wisdom from? Let's look at another passage of scripture right now, and we're going to learn even more about it. So we're going to go right now to John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39 in the Passion Translation. Then, on the most important day of the feast, the last day, Jesus stood and shouted out to the crowds, All you thirsty ones, come to me. Come to me and drink. Believe in me so that rivers of living water will burst out from within you, flowing from your innermost being, just like the scripture says. Jesus was prophesying about the Holy Spirit that believers were being prepared to receive. But the Holy Spirit had not yet been poured out upon them because Jesus had not yet been unveiled in his full splendor. If the well runs deep dry in your life, you're in trouble. But also, if the well in your life is stale and stagnant and not moving, that'll make you sick. Stagnant water can even kill you. It shouldn't surprise us that stagnant water in our lives a stagnant lifestyle that's not digging into something fresh and living, that those lives are going to become sick and unhealthy. But Scripture's talking here about the Holy Spirit and Jesus and how it's there are going to be these rivers of living water flowing out from us. Let me read you a footnote I found when I was studying for this. It said this, Those who are satisfied by Jesus will themselves become channels of spiritual refreshment for others. The figure of rivers contrasts with a fountain illustrating the difference between one's new birth and one's experience of the overflowing fullness of the spirit-filled life. You can actually have a non-stagnant river of living water flowing within you, and it's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. It's Him being alive in you, Him bringing scripture to life, Him giving you words that Jesus has for you. This is incredible, and this is available to every single person who chooses to follow Jesus. But here's the thing, you have to stay active with it. Because if you're not drawing from that well, you're not going into the things of the Spirit and bringing that up and giving that out, you're gonna miss it. Did you catch what it talked about? It talked about rivers of living water flowing out. Not something that just stays in, it's just for ourselves. That's when people get stagnant, when they take something good God's given them and they just hold onto it for themselves and go, I'm not giving this to anyone, this is me and God's stuff. You know what? There are some things God speaks to you that it's you and God need to know that, but there's a lot more that he's giving you to give away. 
And if you're studying the word and you're staying in touch with the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, not any other spirit, then you'll have something to give away. You'll have things he's stirring in you. And at the right moment, he'll have those for someone else. It is the greatest feeling in the world to share what the spirit has given you with someone else who needs to hear it. And I can say that because it actually happens regularly for me. And I don't say that to brag or boast. I am not the deal. I don't get it right all the time. I make messes too. But I also try to be obedient to the Spirit of God and listen and share when He's given me something to share. And when I just have this feeling like I just need to encourage someone, I go and I do it 99 times out of 100 because I've learned to love giving away that life that's given to me, pouring out that living water, the Holy Spirit, And I want to invite you to take an action step with me today. Evaluate your life right now and ask, what well am I drawing from? Is there living water in my well or is it just stagnant? Is it something I heard a long time ago and I haven't engaged with it since? Don't do that to yourself and don't do it to the people around you. Ask Holy Spirit to come in right now and bring fresh living water that you can give away. And then give it away how he tells you. So take a step today, look at your life, identify what you're drawing from, and then ask Holy Spirit to give you living water to give away, to give you words of encouragement to give away. And no matter how easy or tough it is for you, just do it. Trust me, you'll learn to obey the Spirit and you'll be so glad you did and it will bring joy to your life. But you got to get over the hurdle of being afraid or not being quite sure if you want just Do what God's asking. If you're watching this and you don't have a relationship with Jesus, he's not in charge of your life. Let me tell you, you are missing out on the living water that brings life and allows us to give away life. And I want to invite you right now to start a relationship with him and also to be filled with the spirit of God and to live a spirit filled life. Trust me, it's amazing. So if you're ready for that, please just repeat after me and believe these words in your heart. And begin a relationship with Jesus right here, right now, that transforms your life. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for loving me, for dying on the cross and rising again to forgive me of all my sins, but also to transform my life into how you designed it to be. I'm putting you in charge. You take the lead. And I'm going to learn to love you and I'm going to learn to trust you, but I'm going to need your help. So help me and thank you that you've sent your spirit to do that welcome you now, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. And Lord, for all my other brothers and sisters watching right now who've been following you, I pray that we would drill even deeper into the word of God, into the things of God, and that we would continue to pull up and give away this living water that you have within us, that you're inviting us to draw from. So I thank you and I praise you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. If you or someone you know would like or even need prayer, or if you just gave your life to Jesus and let him take the lead, congratulations on the greatest decision you'll ever make. We're so happy for you and we want to help you. So email us, pray at the pc.ca. And don't forget to check out the church website, the pc.ca. We've got tons of great online content. And hey, before we go, I need you to know we love you, we appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow.